he told me that he cannot master coroutines. He spent, uh, I don't know, I think he said like five months on Eric's Java and he felt he, he mastered that. I was like, come on, five months? You could master coroutines in two months. If you investigated that, you could master that entirely. You know, there are not many things in Kotlin X coroutines that you need to understand. The biggest problem is that Kotlin X coroutines hide complexity under the hood. People just use concepts, constructs, thinking they know what they do when they often do not know what, what they do, okay? A simple example is, is a coroutine scope. You know you need to use a coroutine scope function to start async functions or launch, but most people do not realize that coroutine scope awaits the completion of, of coroutines. So they use coroutine scope, launch inside of it, they think that starts an asynchronous process, whereas it makes no sense because this coroutine scope awaits launch completion. So I believe the problem is that when you use you know, Eric's Java or Reactor, it's a much more complicated library but you can see things you don't understand you you can see another function that you need to use and you feel you need to investigate it what does it do how does it behave okay there are plenty of such functions so you just learn them one after another and, and finally you start understanding it better and better i believe the problem with kotlin x coroutines is that it's just so easy to be used so intuitive that people start using it but they never uh, verify their uh, preconceptions that they came with they never really investigate and that's why uh, it's so hard to truly master it